Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you Depth Lab. This is a really cool app for Android, which does a 3D scan, so it's actually scan surfaces, and then you can actually use different type of interactive apps to actually see how it works. So basically I'm actually scanning uh, the area here, the floor, and the bed, and if I throw something, you can see it's on the bed, and if I throw it here, you see, it interacts with it. Now, the lighting, I need good lighting for some reason. The lighting is not that good here. Yeah. Oh, now it's better. So let's try it on this pillow. Oh, yeah, now it's working. So we actually need to move so it can scan it from different angles. Nice. So it actually worked here. Nice, wow, this is good. And there's also occlusion, again, because it creates a 3D object, just mapping the environment. So you can see a move, and the ball is there. Wow, this is really, really nice. So let's throw something there. All right, let's scan it here. All right, and the scanning is done in the background. As you can see, it works really nice. And now look how beautiful the occlusion is. Wow, amazing. All right, and let's put it here. Let's scan this area. All right. And now, let's throw something. <laughs> look at this. Wow, that's very accurate. Wow. Let's find this one. Yeah, working really good. All right, uh, the other one, uh, there are different ones. Uh, laser, let's see laser. Uh, it just reflects the light. Just hit the surface. Yeah, all right. Eh, I'm gonna try other ones. Uh, actually, this is actually good. Wait a minute. This can actually be good if the light will be reflected. Oh, it's not reflecting well. And you can scan it well between two surfaces. So I don't know which one can be. I don't know. It's not good for what I have here. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Um, all right place the robot so this is really cool so you the occlusion so what i'm going to do i'm going to come here uh we're just going to put the robot uh, where are you robot no no let's scan the surface here place all right i'm going to place it here I can we resize you i can resize you tap to drop object Drop marker? What do you mean? Alright. But as you can see, it is occluded. If I move here, alright? If I move here, you can see that the robot, part of it is occluded. Because this area was previously scanned and mapped using the depth scan. So, behind the scene is kind of a 3D model that everything behind it is actually hidden. That's why you see only part of the body. And if you move closer, it's not one really accurate and the lighting here, for some reason, is not that great. All right. I don't know why I can't resize it. We can actually see how it works. It's really nice. Let's go here. Really nice. All right, next one. Relighting, I haven't tried this one before. All right. Tap to switch mode. So this actually applies lighting to the, again, the uh, 3D scan of the real world environment. So let's see, switch modes. Let's try it out. Oh, 
What is that? So again, it affects the uh, 3D model, uh, the 3D scan, instead of just choosing a lighting that affects the entire image. Service for AR, Google Play Services, Airco, which provided, yeah, all right. Just want to see what it does. All right, next one, fog. Hmm. Change fog depth. Ah, next one, snow. So actually snow should be occluded as well. All right, so it already scanned this array, I think. Oh, it's continuing sticking to the surface. All right, so yeah. Oh, this is actually nice. This can really shows you uh, which areas were actually scanned. Oh, this is nice. All right, my battery. What's wrong with you? Let me just for a second charge it. All right. So it's not falling there, but I think if you go and scan this one, yeah. Nice. As you can see, it's included there as well. Beautiful. I just want to see many balls just falling down, but snow is nice. There's also for rain. All right. Next one is focus. Ah, oh, depth of field probably, focal point. Ah, depth of field, yeah, all right. Oh, this looks amazing. It's a fake depth of field. So as you can see, it blurs this area, but doesn't blur the curtain area. Wow, this is a pretty unique effect. Wow. I can change it like this. You can... Wow. All right, next one, water. Oh, that would be nice. So probably on the only on the floor area and the bed will not be uh, affected by this, not the top part of the bed I mean. Yeah, kind of low quality but you understand how it works. So actually with water here. So the lowest surface is affected by the water while the bed, this part is not. And of course it's occluded as well. So if I go here, I'm gonna see the water. Nice. All right, so this actually allows us to see how the 3D model that was generated based on the depth scan looks like, all right? So if you go here, we have those pillows. And what I'm gonna do is just gonna put the materials so you can actually see uh, which 3D model were reconstructed based on the object that you see here. Now it's gone, oh, all right. So as you can see, now we put the material, so this is how it actually looks like. Now you might ask what happened if I remove this pillow, we're just gonna take it out, the one that you see here, I'm just gonna remove it, just remove it. And as you can see, if you wanna put another one, uh, now we need to clear, I'm gonna put another one. Yeah, you see, it updated. If I put it back here, and we're gonna clear and press it again, it's updated with the new one, all right? So it continuously actually updating uh, the 3D model, uh, uh, the, the in-depth scan. Uh, so if I remove something, uh, for example, we're gonna do this uh, for the phone, all right? You're gonna see it here. So this is the phone, all right? You can clearly see this bulge there. Now if I remove the phone to the side, all right? I'm gonna clear and do this again. There's no phone there. Put it back, try it again. Now you can see it. Nice. All right, now we're gonna to go to uh, the collider and you can see that, as you can see, this area was scanned, right? There's kind of a 3D model of this area. So if we're gonna throw something, it's gonna eat this 3D model and 
it's gonna just bounce out of it, all right? So we're gonna try it, we're gonna throw something. You see? There's a collision there with the 3D model. Of course, it depends, uh, the, the angle of course depends on where it actually in the 3D model, uh, but it's, it's very accurate. <laughs> very accurate, look at this. Look at this, crazy. Ah, uh, don't move, don't move. You're doing nice. All right. Wow. This is amazing. All right. And of course, we have occlusion as well. Um, yeah, as I say, I showed you before. So go here. We're gonna throw something there. And this will be occluded as well. It's gonna bounce on the bed and gonna fall down to the floor. Works really nice. So overall, really excited with this depth lab. It just shows us the capabilities of this. And now with the new iPhones, with even more accurate because it's hardware-based depth scanning. Wow, this would be absolutely amazing. And the thing that you can create with this. And again, just keep in mind, I'm running this on my OnePlus 6 phone. Uh, and this is just, you need an AR course, AR core uh, compatible uh, enabled uh, phone and you can experience the same thing and just play with it and again you made in games and different apps that utilize this but these are just simple demos but of course the option to use this for so many other scenes are just endless already see myself kind of playing again with this <laughs> so much fun yeah so this is it for this video hope you enjoy it uh more coming uh, I was in a break, big break, many things. I won't discuss it in this video, uh, but I'm gonna get back and do more things, reviews and interesting stuff and continue kind of a closing the, back, the gap of the new things that were uh, updated, released uh, in the AR augmented reality uh, field. And I'm gonna update you and uh, we're gonna have lots more fun together with this. So uh, stay tuned, consider subscribing to my channel and giving a like, more coming. I'll see you very soon on the next video. Cheers, bye everyone, cheers.